terrific news this week uh, with the news that you've extended your stay with Gloucester Rugby. From a personal point of view, it must be great to have your long-term future sorted out. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's been an interesting start to the year, but really enjoyed pre-season, so it was nice to get a, a chance to kind of get used to the squad and, and know people on, on and off the field. Um, and then just kicking on the first few matches went quite well. Um, and I know we're in a bit of a, a sticky patch at the moment, but but the uh, we just need to trust the process. We're we're really getting there, and and we're really close to breaking teams. So it's uh, it's coming. How did the subject get broached? And and I assume when it did, you you didn't hesitate. <clears throat> yeah, I, I I only signed for a year. Um, first off, so the, there was a possibility that it was it was going to be a short stay in Gloucester. Um, it was just basically tipping dipping my toe in the water, kind of testing out how, how I'd go at a new club and with the kind of long-term aim of, of cementing my place here and, and being able to give to the squad and, and um, it's worked out quite well so far so um, yeah, I was, I was delighted to be given the opportunity to stay longer. Now, of course you've spent your entire playing career today up to this point with Wasps, it's so well documented, so moving to a new club was quite somewhat people for you. At what point did you think to yourself, do you know what, I've made the right move here? Uh, I think the the move has has refreshed me. I, I had a um, I've always loved playing rugby. I've always loved training. And the last few years, I, I probably haven't been quite myself. I've, I've loved the boys at Wasps and and everything like that. But um, I wasn't able to to put performances that I was pleased with out onto the pitch as regularly as I would have liked to. Um, coming here, it, it was kind of an immediate fit. I, the the vibe of the squad, the kind of blend of of young and old. Um, boys that I've played with over, over the years. Um, so it was kind of an exciting prospect getting here in the pre-season, um, then kind of kicking into the matches. It's, it's the style of rugby that I like playing. It's the kind of the feel and the vibe of the club is something that I, I've immensely enjoyed and, and I'm delighted to be a part of for longer. And you mentioned the squad. How much potential do you think there is in this squad? Oh, massive amounts. I, I love watching Gloucester last year. Some of the players that they were, they were pulling out of the bag, I thought that was fantastic. We've, we've got strength and, and depth in every position, but this is, as, we, as we know, this is going to be a year of, of uh, attritional rugby. We've got a slightly uh, prolonged uh, winter, winter kind of slog now um, that possibly doesn't quite suit us with the uh, strengths that we've got out widely in particular, but it's something that you kind of have to have to get through. Um, we'd probably be un unlucky to get quite a few matches in the wet and, and, and the, uh, uh, which just really slows down, the, slows down the game and doesn't quite suit us. So we need to make sure that we kind of keep training hard um, and, and when we can keep the pace high in matches. And looking ahead to Connor on Sunday, we've shown in the first two pool games that we can match up very, very well with the two French sides. Two decent results of these back-to-back -back games and it could well be game on in Europe. Yeah, definitely. Um, Connacht are a fantastic team. We see them turn over Montpellier, but I think that's a real opportunity for us. We're definitely not out. Um, there's, there's a lot still to play for, so two good performances against Connor, um, which which isn't unlikely, um, and and we can really progress in this tournament. There's two. There's there can be two spots in every group um, open as well, so we need to make sure these uh, these matches get us as many points as we possibly can, and then then we'll look to the Montpellier and Toulouse return fixtures.